Hi, I'm uh, Cyber. Out of Central Oklahoma, and I am rocking the Unit and Bearcat 980 SSB. I have a little speaker here you can't see because it's dark out here, and I don't have a good light. And uh, got me a little Cobra power mic here, and uh, I'm rocking the Striker A10 or SA10 or something like that. But uh, that's what I got going on on my setup. I run completely barefoot, unlike somebody else that's in the desert. <clears throat> yeah, that drama this week is what kind of inspired me to make this channel. And I will say this. I do not like it when people mess with truckers. <laughs> I'm just saying that right now. They are the backbone of this country. And I completely 100%, 110% support Motor Mouth Ball and Derail and what they did this week. They need to, you know, they need to let, let it be known that it's, you know, this guy's not very good fella, and, you know, there's a lot of people out there praising him, and I'll say this, he does come through loud and clear, he just don't need to be doing that on 19, you know, if he wants to be a big boy, then he needs to go to Channel 6 and see where he stands up in their locker room, and uh, what it looks like, you know, hard drive ain't so hard, and, you know, they say he's soft drive, and that's probably about accurate. It's probably why I can't stand up in their locker room. So he goes to Channel 19 picks on truckers. And I will say this. As far as radio is concerned, yeah, he knows how to make it loud and clear. Okay, cool. But that's it. You know, it's... When you start annoying truckers and you start just being a nuisance, that's kind of where respect goes away. And... I'll compliment the good, but I'll also call call out the bad. I'll be the first to do either one. And I promise you, I'm not here to cause trouble. I am here as a voice of reason, you know, a voice of harmony in the chaos, and I'm also the chaos in the harmony. That's what I'm about. And, you know, I like to keep people thinking, keep people's minds sharp, and this is kind of a journey I'm going on here at CB. You know, it's an art form trying to get better sound out of things, you know, and learning how everything works, you know, learn the science behind it. That's all part of it. And my, I ultimately want to get my ham license and be cool to get the amateur extra at some point, but I'll sell for technicians for now. And I would most definitely like to um, get better at this craft, you know, and the way I feel about it, most of CB radio anymore, I'd say about 60 to 70% of it, are just a bunch of illegal ham operators. You know, they don't have a license. They're buying 10 meter radios and they're talking on CB frequencies. But I'm just glad CB is alive because of that. Cause these guys have discovered, Hey, we can get 60 to 80 Watts. We can actually be heard. Cool. All right. Well, it crushes these little, you know, three to four watt radios here. Like I have, you know, unless you're local and talking to local guys, you're going to get destroyed every time. <laughs> and it really sucks when you're shooting skip, but um, you know, I do make some contacts on the sideband, so it's not a big deal. But, uh, that being said, I'll probably get a, like a, you know, McKinley at some point and try it out. I really want to try out that Thomas, I believe is what it's called. It's the FM. See what that's about. Um, if enough people watch this and enough people, uh, subscribe or whatever, I will consider buying that radio. And testing it out uh, compared, you know, to this right here. You know, I have a buddy of mine that lives not too, he lives about five miles away or so, four or five miles out. Um, see if he can maybe get on the other end and tell me how it sounds and all that stuff. Maybe he'll hook up his SDR and um, show us what's actually going on, you know, the actual readings of it. That or I'll have to hook one up here and put a camera in front of my screen or something. I don't know. I'll figure that out. Or screen cap it, I should say. Um, I forgot we're not in 2009 anymore where we can screen cap everything. Um, anyway, it's starting to rain pretty good now. The window's down. But uh, I look forward to mingling with everybody on here and actually... Uh, getting the, you know, getting in the community really, you know, I, I think one of my biggest influences in general on CB radio would be Farpoint Farms. I watch him a lot on stuff, you know, and 
I'm also a licensed GMRS operator and I, you know, thank not a Rubicon for that one. And of course the one that got me started on all the radio stuff, just in general, just YouTube and it is a uh, ham radio crash course. That guy, Josh, he's a pretty no knowledgeable fella. And I like watching his stuff, listen to his podcast, brought me out to these other guys. And my dad's had CB radios my whole life. And I, we've most we've ever done is plugged them in. And one time when we were close to one of the, not the interstate, but it was actually 177 going through Oklahoma here. Um, we, we were in a location where we could do it in, a, in a, one of his old shops and we plugged in the radio and we actually uh, got on there and started trying to talk to truckers. And we did talk to truckers for a little bit. And it was pretty fun. Um, we could only talk to him for like three minutes because, you know, the window was really tight because we didn't have good range. But um, nowadays, you know, I can hold conversations with people for, you know, several minutes because, you know, I can get about uh, with this current setup running barefoot. I can get on a standard day on crap conditions, I'd say about 10 miles. And then better to, uh, uh, on decent days, standard days, I should say, I can get about 14 or 15 out of it and I can get it up to like 21 miles on a really, really good day. Um, I've had guys as far as Seminole telling me that they can hear me from where I was at. And, uh, I think I was actually toward, where was I at the time when I was doing that? I was toward New Walla ish, but closer to Bethel Acres on that side uh, out there in Oklahoma, you know, and uh, they could hear me all the way in Seminole. So that was pretty cool. And that was like a golden, that was a beautiful morning, you know, like a perfect day. And that happened. I was like, wow, dang, that's some range. And I tried it again. People were hearing, you know, I had a few guys in the city that were saying they could hear me, you know, um, because I got on 19 and tested it out and said, hey, can anyone hear me on this? Can I get a radio check? And they're like, yeah, dude, we're here in Oklahoma City. And I asked for a, a location. I was like, shoot. So this thing's getting about 20 or so mile radius. That's pretty cool. But uh, pretty proud of this little setup. It cost me a little bit of money. But I spent hours configuring everything and trying to get everything right. And, you know, my SWR is at the, the highest it will get is 1.1, if that. And that's just, you know, if it's bad conditions and, you know, maybe the radio came unplugged. I don't know. But, uh, anyway, that's about all I got for the evening. I uh, appreciate your time if you watched it this far. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll make y'all a deal. If, let's just say this, if I get a hundred people to like and subscribe or I should say, let's go by subscriptions. It's probably the best thing to do. If I get about 100 people to do it, I will try to get my hands on a uh, president, I think it's called Thomas Radio, um, the one that has FM and that the FCC said we can use. I will consider buying one of those and actually uh, trying it out. And I guarantee you that, I mean, I said, that's, I'll try to look into, I'll try to get my hands on one, you know, at that point, but you can bet if I hit 200, by gosh, I'm freaking getting one, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll move some, I'll move some dang mountains to get one at that point. But, uh, I'm also, like I said, trying to get my ham license soon and do that as well. I'm going to try to do all sorts of different types of radio on here, as well as, you know, I might do some fishing stuff. Um, not so much shooting, even though I do enjoy doing it. I really love my 22s. I uh, know I've, I've got better than that, but I'm just saying I love my 22s and I do a lot of 22 shooting and my Ruger 10 22 is probably my favorite rifle and I'll get out there with it and play with it, you know, and, uh, my little heritage revolver. I love it too. It's something about shooting 22, you know, it's cheap on ammunition. You still get the, th the thrill of shooting a gun, which is awesome. But, uh, I've got better stuff than that. I just don't like wasting my ammo. But uh, anyway, that being said, I think I'll cut it off for the night and wish you guys a very good one. And, you know, if you like it, okay, cool. If you don't, all right, that's fine too. Um, you don't have to comment. You don't got to do anything. If you don't like it, just turn on another video and enjoy the rest of your day is what I'm wanting you to do on that. But 
you know, if you, if you like it, all right, cool, you know, say something, subscribe, I don't really care, but, uh, like I said, you know, I, I just want something else kind of to do on the side and shooting a couple of videos here and there would be kind of cool. And if I had enough people following and all that, I'd probably try to do something, you know, once a week or maybe more than that, or just as I really feel like it, you know, pull out my phone for a few minutes every day or something like that. You know, I could do that too, but it just depends, you know, the more, the more people following, the more likely I'm going to do something, but I'm not going to quit my freaking day job. I'm not stupid. Um, but, uh, I might even do some IT related stuff, especially like, you know, playing with chirp. Uh, that's some fun stuff right there, <laughs> but, uh, it's a beautiful shower happening outside my car. Right now my entire door inside is now getting soaked. So I better roll my windows up and shut this off. Anyway, it's like the third time I try to get off this video. Well, I'm out of here now. So you guys have a good one and, uh, sorry I rambled.